Egypt in this thousand year period had this repeated and you might say perpetuated and imitated style both the building of sculpture or painting. An interesting thing about painting, when you see Egyptian paintings, and there are many, paintings of human beings, there's something very interesting and peculiar about them. The eye is usually put on the side of the face, I was anticipating Picasso, and when you try to find out well, what's wrong, didn't they see things straight? Well, maybe they did, because when you look at pictures of geese and ducks and fish, they're absolutely photographic in their perfection, in their precision. I mean, they made beautiful pictures of any living thing, but not of the king, not of the human being. So there was something there. Oh, they knew how to paint. The question is, what was stopping them? What was the inhibition? Well, they had a certain characteristic. They had a certain ideal. The ideal was, if you represent the human being, you have to represent the fullest expression. Okay, now let's take them point by point. If you look at a person this way, you see the eye. If you look at a person in profile, but well, you don't really see the eye in its true essence. But you have to represent the real eye. So you paint it on the side of the face, so you can see the whole eye, including the eyebrow and the eyelashes and everything else. You can't diminish the significance of the eye. So if it's a profile, you put the eye on the side. That's where it belongs. That is, it doesn't belong there, but that's the way you want to represent it in its fullest. Why do you represent most of the paintings in profile? Because then you can see the whole face, including the nose and everything else. If you look at it this way, it's different. And most of the paintings that they have don't present people front view, usually in profile. They were analyzing. In fact, what they did was to take each part of the body and try to represent it fully. And that's why they seem to have created these uh, disjointed or unreal figures. But that was their uh, theory. Their theory was uh, we can't represent the life form of the person in a distorted fashion. So you see that there was a theology, a philosophy about how one should paint and how one should sculpt.